Hi, this is an introduction video that shows how easy it is to import banking data using Contomatic API. We're going to start off with a sign-in widget. The sign-in widget is an independent component that handles the login process of the end user. The widget needs to be embedded on your website. So let's begin with a blank web page. First, in the head section, you need to reference the JavaScript library for the widget. The next step is to create a div element where the widget will be rendered. We'll name it Contomatic. Now we can call the embed Contomatic function. There are three obligatory parameters that need to be passed to this function, as well as a few optional ones that you can use to customize the widget. Let's focus on the obligatory parameters. First, you need to provide the identity of the div element where the widget will be displayed. The client parameter should match the name of your test or production account. The name of my test account, as you can see, is Smart Loans Test. And finally, for on success, you need to provide a JavaScript callback that will be used to notify your application when the end user has successfully signed in. The callback function takes three parameters, target, session ID, and session ID signature, and returns them to you so that you can pass them on to your backend. Instead of that, I will just display the session values to the screen. To finish here, we need to close all tags. And then we can go back to the browser and hit refresh to display the widget. Good. Let's log into the Spanish bank BBVA using test credentials. There is a list of test credentials that you can use to log into the bank supported by the widget, and you can find it on our developer portal at httpdeveloper.contomatic.com slash api doc. Great, we have received session ID and session ID signature parameters, and now we can use them to make API calls. Let's try the import owners command. The command is asynchronous, and you call it with an HTTP POST request. I will demonstrate this using curl. We need to pass three parameters here, the static API key and the dynamic session ID and session ID signature associated with our session. So please note that here I am using my own API key, but you will have to specify the one, the one for your own test account. Now let's append the session ID and session ID signature values to the query string. And finally, we provide a URL specifying the protocol, hostname, and path to the desired resource. As you can see, the server returns an XML response indicating that our request has been accepted. Now we can use the command ID value to fetch the final result. We'll do this directly from the browser using the command ID value to form the URL and again appending the API key, session ID, and session ID signature parameters in the query string. And here is the final XML result. You can see how fast the server returns the identification data for this end user account. Again, this illustrates the import owners command, which only fetches KYC data, but there's much more data available. You can use other commands to import the transaction history, for example, or details for current or saving accounts. That's it, folks. I hope I have convinced you how simple and exciting it is to use Contomatic API. Make sure to check our developer portal for an in-depth tutorial, and good luck with your integration project.